Welcome to film Go Go Go. Tom Cruise has delighted audiences with his undeniable talent for dance and singing in movies and shows throughout his career. From his iconic risky business dance scene to his electrifying performance in Rock of Ages, Cruz has showcased his versatility as an entertainer. Whether he's sliding across the floor in his socks or belting out catchy tunes, his infectious energy and charisma always shine through. This list counts down the top 10 moments where Cruz's dance and singing skills have truly taken center stage, leaving a lasting impression on viewers worldwide. Get ready to groove and sing along as we celebrate the unforgettable dance and singing scenes of Tom Cruise. Number 1 Risky Business 1983. Tom Cruise's iconic dance scene to old-time rock and roll by Bob Seger has become a classic moment in film history. In the scene, Tom Cruise slides into the living room, wearing only a shirt, socks, and underwear, and proceeds to lip-sync to the song using a candlestick as a microphone. He energetically dances around the house, jumping on the table and playing air guitar, showcasing his undeniable charisma and charm. To enhance the scene, Tom Cruise ad-libbed various elements to make it even more entertaining. He dusts the floor and cleverly uses sticky tape to slide smoothly on the beat, adding a touch of improvisation to his performance. Originally, the scene was intended to be longer and feature Cruz dancing on the stairs and in the kitchen, which would have added another layer of fun and excitement to the sequence. It's easy to understand why this scene has been parodied and referenced countless times across various media platforms. It has been humorously recreated in movies, TV shows, commercials, and music videos, demonstrating its enduring popularity. Notable references include The Simpsons, The Nanny, Scrubs, Family Guy, The Chipmunks, Guitar Hero 5, and so on. No, no, but you get, get, get out. Well, I get thought out. it could be fun. No. Perry, he said no. But you told me. I assumed he would say yes. I, I did not invite the time. Number 2 Tropic Thunder. 2008 Tom Cruise amazed and entertained audiences with his hilarious and unrecognizable portrayal of Leigh Grossman, a fat and bald movie producer, in Tropic Thunder. He wore a fat suit, a bald cap, a hairy chest, and prosthetic hands to become the rude and merciless character. One of the best scenes in the movie shows Leigh Grossman dancing to Ludacris's Get Back in his office, while Bill Hader plays his excited sidekick and Matthew McConaughey watches in astonishment and attraction. This scene was inspired by Tom Cruise's spontaneous dancing during a makeup test, and it added more fun and surprise to the movie. The scene is full of weird and witty humor, unexpected character choices, and brilliant improvisation. Tom Cruise was very involved in developing Leigh Grossman, contributing to his dance moves, makeup design, and prosthetic hands. His dedication paid off, as he earned a Golden Globe nomination for his comedic performance. The movie also features a bonus dance scene during the credits, where Tom Cruise dances hip-hop again, this time with Jennifer Lopez as his partner. Tom Cruise reprised his role as Leigh Grossman at the 2010 MTV Movie Awards, where he danced with Jennifer Lopez again to her song Get Right and Usher's song Yeah. The performance was a surprise for the audience, and it was well received by the fans and the media, who praised Cruz and Lopez for their humor and chemistry. That was another unforgettable touch, the icing on the cake. Number 3 Cocktail, 1988 in the captivating film, Tom Cruise portrays Brian Flanagan, a bartender with dreams of opening his own bar. One of the standout scenes showcases Cruz's charm and bartending skills as he dances with shakers and bottles to the upbeat rhythm of Addicted to Love by Robert Palmer. In this scene, Brian Flanagan and his mentor Doug Colin, played by Brian Brown, captivate customers with their synchronized moves and impressive flair bartending techniques. The energetic dance sequence features Cruz and Brown pouring drinks, tossing glasses, and showcasing their acrobatic skills with shakers and bottles. The scene exudes a fun and lively atmosphere, highlighting Cruz's charisma and talent as he effortlessly commands the bar. To prepare for the role, Tom Cruise received training from renowned flair bartender John Bandy, who helped him master the art of flair bartending. This allowed Cruz to authentically portray the dazzling techniques and movements associated with the profession. The film also features stunning scenes shot at Dragon Bay in San Antonio, Jamaica, where the vibrant Jamaica bar scenes were filmed. It adds a visually appealing backdrop to the already dynamic dance sequence. Number 4 Rock of Ages, 2012, Pour Some Sugar On Me. Tom Cruise transforms into Stacy Jacks, a legendary rock star, in a scene that showcases his amazing performance. 
As the charismatic yet troubled singer, Stacy Jacks rocks the stage, thrilling the audience with his energetic performance. He sings Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard with confidence and passion, while dancing and playing the guitar. He flaunts his toned body, covered with tattoos that enhance his rock star image. He also has long hair that adds to his appeal as he charms the crowd with his charisma. He interacts with the audience and the women who adore him, showing his natural talent as a musician. Tom Cruise draws inspiration from rock icons like Axl Rose, Jim Morrison, and Steven Tyler, but he also creates his own unique character as Stacy Jacks. Tom Cruise prepared extensively for the role, working with vocal coach Ron Anderson for five months to improve his singing skills and sing all his songs himself. He also spent five hours every day to perfect his voice and his rock performances. He studied the movements and expressions of rock icons, making his character, Stacy Jacks, more realistic and believable. He delivers a stunning portrayal of a captivating rock star, who lives and breathes music. Number 5 Rock of Ages, 2012, Wanted Dead or Alive Tom Cruise wowed audiences with his performance in Rock of Ages, 2012, where he sings the Bon Jovi hit Wanted Dead or Alive with Julianne Hough, who plays Sherry Christian, a hopeful singer who works at a rock club. Number 6 Jerry Maguire, 1996 Tom Cruise sings several songs in Jerry Maguire, 1996, a film by Cameron Crowe. He plays a sports agent who changes his life and starts his own company with the help of a single mother, Renee Zellweger. One of the best scenes in the movie is when he sings along to the radio in his car, switching stations until he finds a song that suits his mood. It's a relatable and joyful scene that many people can identify with. The songs he sings are, Bitch by the Rolling Stones, from their 1971 album Sticky Fingers. Angel of the Morning by Juice Newton, is a popular song written by Chip Taylor that has been covered by many artists. She by Graham Parsons, from his 1973 album GP. Free Fallen by Tom Petty, the opening track from his 1989 solo album Full Moon Fever. In the scene where he drives alone in his car, Tom Cruise's Jerry Maguire sings Free Fallen with enthusiasm to express his relief and joy at a successful moment. It's a memorable and powerful scene in the film that reveals Jerry's emotional state at that point in the story. Number 7 Tom Cruise's epic lip-sync battle with Jimmy Fallon on Tonight Show Tom Cruise and Jimmy Fallon had a lip-sync battle in 2015, when Tom Cruise was on The Tonight Show to promote his movie Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. They each lip-synced two songs. Tom Cruise performed Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd and Paradise by The Dashboard Light by Meat Loaf. He showed his charisma and dance moves. Jimmy Fallon also performed two songs, Undercover of the Night by the Rolling Stones and You've Lost That Love and Feelin' by the Righteous Brothers. He did some funny gestures and expressions, and invited Tom Cruise to join him for a duet on the last song. The audience loved the lip-sync battle and cheered for both of them. Tom Cruise won the contest by a small margin, according to Jimmy Fallon. Number 8 The Graham Norton Show Tom Cruise Dances with Zac Efron in the clip from the Graham Norton show that aired in 2017, Tom Cruise and Zac Efron delighted the audience with their dance moves to Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling. Joining them on the show were Annabelle Wallace and Beth Ditto, creating a lively dance party atmosphere. The energetic moment ensued after Zac Efron showcased his pole dancing skills, which he had acquired for his role in Baywatch. During the dance sequence, Tom Cruise exhibited his comedic prowess by playing along with a lighthearted joke. His infectious smile and undeniable charisma added to the entertaining nature of the scene. Despite his age, Tom looked remarkable, a testament to his dedication and hard work. With his timeless charm and a sense of elegance, Tom Cruise continues to captivate audiences with his talents. Number 9 Tom Cruise and James join the Lion King cast Tom Cruise and James Corden took the stage with the cast of The Lion King in a hilarious sketch for The Late Late Show in 2023. The sketch was part of a special episode that marked the end of James Corden's Late Night series. They performed live at the iconic Pantages Theater in Los Angeles alongside the Broadway stars of the musical. Tom Cruise and James Corden switched between different roles in the show, such as a rhinoceros duo, Timon and Pumbaa, and even Simba and Nala. 
they belted out songs like The Circle of Life, Hakuna Matata, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight? The sketch spoofed Tom Cruise's action movies and his musical role in Rock of Ages. It also included nods to his movies like Top Gun and Jerry Maguire. Number 10 Rain Man, 1988 Charlie teaches Ray how to slow dance in Rain Man, 1988, a drama film directed by Barry Levinson. Charlie wants to prepare Ray for a date he has made with a woman he met at the bar. The scene takes place in their hotel room, where Charlie puts on some music and shows Ray how to move his feet and hold his partner. Ray is reluctant go, at first, Ray. but he follows You're Charlie's dancing. instructions. Yeah, the scene is a touching and funny Hold moment that shows the growing this. bond between the brothers. Like that? You're gonna turn me like this, okay? Just turn me. That's good. This is dancing. This is dancing. Last, Tom Cruise dance on TikTok is not really Tom Cruise, but a deepfake. The deepfake Tom Cruise on TikTok is created by a company called Metaphysic.i, which uses a combination of deep learning, computer vision and visual effects to produce realistic videos of celebrities. The videos show Tom Cruise doing various things, such as dancing, singing, doing magic tricks, playing golf, eating cereal and more. The videos are very convincing and have fooled many people into thinking they are watching the real Tom Cruise. We appreciate your support and engagement. Remember to hit the like button if you were entertained by Tom Cruise's incredible dance and singing performances. Subscribing to our channel ensures that you won't miss out on future videos that explore the talents of beloved actors and entertainers. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future.